Hello everyone and welcome to episode 117 of the 10 minute modeling challenge. It's going to be a lot of fun and we're going to be doing a hotel this week and that's the theme in the Infesa Discord server. If you check that out there's a weekly theme of the things that we can model and this week it is a hotel. So I'm going to be doing just one floor to begin with and when it's about like one minute left I'm going to try to apply an array modifier with an offset and just spin it up to make it into something more interesting. Because making a complete skyscraper or a big building in 10 minutes is actually a little bit more harder than you would think. So I think I'll just focus it on one floor and then see what it looks like at the very end. Hopefully I won't get too stressed out when it's just one minute to go. Other than that, this week I've been working on line work quite a bit. I've been optimizing. I ended up caching the world loading mechanism. So actually when you create one world, it caches it to disk. So it improves the development cycle a little bit like that. I think it trimmed about uh, two times to up to three times the speed to compare to generating the map. And now I'm optimizing and pooling a lot of the items such as warheads and explosions and things like that. So because we need to boost the performance a little bit for the single player that's coming to line war later on. It's quite tricky to implement uh, AI. You would have thought that maybe in a strategy game, AI is very common. But the way we design line war, where you draw the commands and you have to think a bit like a human when you play it, and uh, it's a little bit tricky, so... <laughs> but we're working on it. And also, I'm happy to say that my inbox is down to zero emails. I've actually managed to go through them all, and if I've missed any of them, unfortunately, uh, during my archiving process, I'm a apologize for that just email me again in that case and i should be able to pick it up but hopefully in the last few months or something like that i've been keeping on track on it another good thing is uh, i'm going to be heading up to the sunshine coast in early november and i'm going to be doing a one day modeling workshop there with uh, a lot of the people in uh, actually six student i think in uh, in a secondary school there you know the low poly characters that i've been making well i'm going to be trying to do that in one day and let all the students do one of their own characters so we'll go through the basic modeling process the modification and customization process of a character and then the armature and then uh, a basic animation maybe an idle or uh, walk cycle or something like that and uh, we'll see how it goes and uh, hopefully i should be able to do some more courses like that if any other schools would be interested in the future so i'll be able to keep you updated on that and of course on that i'm working on Ultra Nova and hopefully I'll be able to start that series up soon where I can actually bring you along on a weekly devlog and uh, accelerate my development there. So with that said, let's model a 10 minute hotel now. Ready, steady, go and we're off. Yep, that's it. Tab in edit mode, 8 select everything, hold the control key, snap it up there, scale X maybe 10, scale Y 20. And then uh, let's just bring it up to like this two, three, four, five, six meters, maybe something like that. Control R, do a loop cut and control R, do a loop cut here. I'm just going to do a balcony here. It might look good. Alt E to extrude long phase normals. Actually, before that, I'm going to do control R to loop cut. Scale X, maybe we can get a little bit more exciting scale on the Z axis. Maybe. Oh, have I control? I need to go to global here. Scale X. There we go. Maybe something like that. That's good. Control R. Let's do some loop cuts there because we're going to put some windows here as well. Control R. And I'll be able to put the detail in now. Maybe I'll extrude these as well. So shift control, shift control, select those, E to extrude. Maybe we can make, uh, let's bridge these together. So I'll do block select these maybe i'll do uh, bridge faces there a m get rid of those doubles that i probably got there no i didn't actually all right and uh, here i should be able to maybe i'll extrude these as well so just so the floors look a little bit more interesting that should do and here maybe i'll do one side a bit uh, no that should be good a 35 all right now we'll do a balcony so alt select all the way around everything apart from these and maybe not there either. And then I'll do alt E, extrude long face normals. That's gonna be our balcony floor there. And I'll do shift D to duplicate that. And I'll bring it up a little bit. Scale on the Z axis. There's gonna be a fence. Alt E to extrude long face normals. Do it inwards. And I'll hold the alt key or control key is it? No, alt key to make it uniform scale. That's it. L to select and I think actually these are flipped the normals now if, uh, we can check I'll do uh, Z and do solid we can see that these are actually inverted eight select everything alt n recalculate outside check for you there and eight select everything actually I'm gonna go a little bit brighter on the 
color there, but the railing I'll just do dark. I'll do a dark metal, I think. Shiny. Some different look there. There we go. Now I'll do um, Z. We'll go back to material preview. I'm going to put some windows now. Let's just make these emissive. So I'm just selecting a whole bunch of these here. Some big windows, maybe. There we go. And same on this side, roughly. And a few on these. That's it. And a big one there. I to inset. And I take again for individual. Alt E to extrude long face normals. And then I'm just going to bring this to an emissive color, like a blue. I usually like blue emission for windows there. And then, okay, 656. Let's put some more details. Maybe I can put, uh, okay, we'll do sh control shift select to here. And I'll select these two. And I think I'm going to do E to extrude, S to scale, I to inset and E to extrude, something like this maybe, don't know. And I want to put some, um, maybe some poles here as well. So my usual trick here is subdivide, go to edit, circle, and then that's low poly enough. Top view, G to move it to there, and, and just E to extrude this one up. And we'll do control R, alt S, no, that looks hideous, <laughs> scale Z, and control R again, twice actually, we'll do with the mouse wheel and scale Alt Z, because Alt Z, Shift Z, that's what I wanted. There we go. And okay, we'll change this to a different color, darker there. And then I'll just like do Alt select linked. So five minutes, I should still have plenty of time, I think. So I'm just gonna do, place them like this a little bit and hopefully they should connect up later on. And I'll just mark these. I should have had a mirror modifier on probably. Shift D to duplicate, scale Y minus one, and then just bring them down there. And I think I need to recalculate outside again. Alt N, recalculate outside. That should do it there. And I th also think I should do, since these poles might, uh, let's see, I'll change the floor color here as well. Alt select there plus G a bit darker there. And should we put some, uh, I'll put like, where should we put it? I always like to put like some sort of a, like an air conditioning unit here or something. <laughs> so I to inset, right click of course, subdivide, and I to inset again, circle, E to extrude, and S to scale, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, and I don't know, make that dark or something. And then here, shift D to duplicate it, bring it maybe in. And there, how am I doing? Four minutes, control B. And should we put like pipes here as well? So right click, subdivide, circle. There we go, E to extrude. And then I'll just wing it a little bit on the side here. So I know I can do the spin tool, but I don't really have time for that. So I'll just do it manually. <laughs> there we go. L, make it darker and move it in. Shift D to duplicate it. I'll just have to, this is a bit wonky there, but that's okay. L, 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 and we'll do Shift D to duplicate that on. G, rotate manually. That'll do, <laughs> good enough. Okay, and Three minutes, okay, I'm actually gonna just do Shift C to get the cursor there, Shift A, let's add um, an empty now. Plain axis will do, and then this one, I'll go to uh, modifiers, we'll add an array modifier, and then we'll pick uh, object offset, and then we'll grab that empty, and then now we should be able to move that. Okay, so take away the relative offset. Now move the empty up to there. And if we just bring the array modifier up. Okay, so I move the cube instead. Let's undo that. <laughs> and then move the empty instead. That's it. And then how many array? Okay, we'll go back to here. Spin that one up to maybe 20 floors. And then we'll spin it. Empty, rotate, Z, 
and something like that. Should we make it even higher? Well, two minutes 40. Let's make it higher. So there we go. We'll make it 40 floors. No, that's too high. 30 floors. And now I think I want to do... I think that sort of works. Unfortunately, the poles don't really work there. But we can actually fix that here. So you can... Because I can see now it'll update on all of them, I think. So I'll just uh, bring that down. Okay, we can bring the empty up a little bit further, maybe. Rotate set. Maybe I rotated it a bit too much. Or not enough. That's too much. Ah, well, that'll do. Uh, one minute, so I'll, I'll just uh, accept that it's not perfect. We have to fix the top here a little bit. So I'll apply this one. So from a distance, it'll look good. <laughs> Control uh, A on this uh, modifier. That's it. A to select everything. And then I'm just going to grab these windows there. And then I'll do this one so I can actually s select them here. And then we'll do F3, select random. I use that so often, it's already selected. And then we go deselect. And then I'm gonna go 50, yeah, that's fine. And then I'll G, move this one into like a dark blue that's not emissive. And there we go, already switched off a lot of the windows there. And maybe I'll also, I think I'll do the whole building a bit darker. Something like that, maybe. And then maybe I've got one minute left to fix the top floor here. Uh, I'll just take away the poles, I guess, here. Because I've applied the modifier now, so I can just L, 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 L. It's not perfect because it's uh, got some stuff po poking through there. So, but from a distance, it could look all right. <laughs> Let's just uh, do an inset here, maybe as well. We'll do some units here on the ceiling or on the roof. E to extrude, uh, E to extrude. And control R, maybe just to shift D to duplicate that on, E to extrude, and put an antenna here, maybe. Scale, oh, well, you know what to do. Right click, subdivide, circle, scale, bring it down. 11 seconds, E to extrude, E to extrude, S to scale, E to extrude, E to extrude, and alt select that, and just put it on emissive red. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there's our 30 floor hotel. <laughs> the poles are a little bit uh, all over the place. I could have fixed that a little bit better. Maybe a slight less rotation would have been better. <laughs> but, but it's a building anyway. All right, folks, so except the, the pillars there going a little bit wonky and uh, not actually connecting to anything, I, I, I think I should have been able to tweak that a little bit better within the time frame. And also, it doesn't really have an entry floor. You just walk straight into it from nowhere. <laughs> so that's something that could have been improved too. And I think the floors are not high enough. But overall, uh, I think what makes it, what sells it a little bit is the fact that you uh, actually randomly just uh, turn some of the windows off. So it's not, and I should have probably changed the color slightly on some of them too. So they're not all identical. But overall, I think it worked uh, all right anyway. I don't know what you think. Let me know in the comments what you feel about this building. And of course, jump into the Discord server and join the weekly modeling challenge and do yourself your own hotel as well. And see if you can come up with something a little bit cooler than this one. And uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing that as well. And I'll see you next week for another 10 minute modeling challenge. Until then, have a great one and bye for now.